Here are the measurements for the kinematic slab for constant acceleration, including projectile motion. Remember, the goal is to calibrate the motion of a rolling ball along a ramp and then predict exactly where it's going to fall on the floor. First, we need the physical setup. We need to measure out one meter up along the ramp and then also measure the height difference between the two points as to be able to calculate the angle. Next, we measure the time it takes for the ball to roll from the one meter mark to the end of the ramp. We will make multiple measurements for averaging and of course repeat for the other ball. Three, two, one, roll. 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 Next, we need to measure out the actual distance along the ground where each ball lands. Again, we will make multiple measurements. First, we need to make sure we know what is directly below the end of the ramp. And make sure that line is marked.
please make sure to subtract from the scale as in this picture the 50 centimeter mark is on the right end I will start with the plastic ball Now for the metal ball. Now we just need to repeat this same process for two more angles of ramp. Three, two, one, roll. 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 Three, two, one, roll.
Three, two, one, roll. Three, two, one, roll. Three, two, one, roll. Three, two, one, roll. Three, two, one, roll. Three, two, one, roll. Three, two, one, roll. Three, two, one, roll. Three, two, one, roll. Three, two, one, roll. For these last rolls, I had replaced the previous half meter stick with a meter stick because of the anticipated longer distances. As a reference, here is the 40 centimeter mark, here is the 50 centimeter mark, here is the 60 centimeter mark. Thank you.